Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. A very warm welcome to the India Today Conclave 2021. I am doubly happy to see all of you gathered here today in these times. Let me applaud all of you for coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our 19th edition of the Conclave. Thank you all for your support. Last year, in March 2020, we had to cancel the conclave due to COVID. So we're meeting here now in unusual circumstances, ringed in by the rules of survival and social distancing that make it difficult for us to meet in ways that were once easy and familiar. In a sense, this is a metaphor for our times. The last 18 months have been a time of great upheaval, loss, and uncertainty. We've experienced a deadly pandemic. We've seen the world's superpowers stumble with crumbling infrastructure. We faced an unprecedented shortage of medical oxygen and watched our loved ones suffer. We have seen extreme weather, floods, fires, storms engulf the world. We witnessed the mass migration of people and stark economic disparities. There has been ugly political polarization, desperate protests, loss of livelihood, and crippling digital divides. Millions of children have fallen out of school and face blank futures. Many have lost their livelihood. At personal levels, too many have experienced extreme loneliness and isolation. Depression and mental health issues have shot up. In a line, this has been a period of devastating disruption and precariousness. But every crisis is an opportunity to imagine something new. The human spirit is intrinsically resilient. It seeks inspiration. It wants to reboot, reconnect, revitalize. The theme for this 19th edition of India Day Conclave, therefore, is a better normal. Over the next two days, we will not spend so much as looking back as looking forward. We'll be seeking new ideas and new ways of doing things. Problems will be addressed in the hope of seeking solutions. There are four momentous challenges facing the world and India. The first is climate change, which we are witnessing all around us. Experts have called this the most decisive decade in human history with regard to climate change. If we're going to save humanity, the time for deliberation is over it is a time for action. Don't think this does not affect you. India has committed to cutting down its greenhouse emissions by at least 33% by 2030. This will lead to many changes in the way we live. We have to find innovative ideas to make a green economy in India. The second is the pandemic and public health. How are we going to live with the coronavirus? And what do we need to do for the future? The coronavirus has occupied our mind space for the better part of two years. There are still many unknowns. How long is the efficacy of the various vaccines? How will the virus mutate? Is there such a thing as herd immunity? Will they, will, when will the pandemic end? And many more questions. We must work together to find answers and push for better and more robust health care. The third is the economy. The pandemic has put economies across the world into a tailspin. Every country is wondering what kind of recovery they will have. Economists are coming up with an alphabet soup of models, K-shaped recovery, V-shaped recovery, or U, or even Z. The Indian economy was declining for six quarters before the pandemic. And then came the shock of the pandemic. To control the spread of the virus, the country was forced to go into several lockdowns. The result was the worst contraction of the Indian economy seen in recent history. The world economy is in a churn, too. Global supply chains 
have been disrupted? What measures will help the country emerge from this difficult economic period? What are the new opportunities for India in the changing world? What's happening with markets? And what is the world of cryptocurrency? I am personally pleased to see that privatization and asset monetization have become part of our political lexicon. They are no longer dirty words as they were in the past. This is a long overdue change. The fourth is the global power shifts. There's an aggressive China and a self-interested America, all in the shadow of the American withdrawal from Afghanistan and the rise of the Taliban. It seems the next hot zone for global diplomacy will be our neighborhood. We live in a volatile zone, and on the 20th anniversary of 9-11, it is a sobering thought to recall that what happens in Afghanistan has repercussions everywhere. The last two years have seen dramatic shifts in power, the rise of a multipolar world, an expansionist China, a diminished America, and a return of the Taliban. But beneath these shorthand phrases lies many complexities. China is rising, but it's also slowing and aging. America is in the mood to withdraw from its foreign policy interventions, but is the, still the world's largest military and economic power. And the Taliban insists it has changed even as its hardline factions take control. Meanwhile, Pakistan has its nefarious designs behind the scenes. I believe the recent developments in Afghanistan pose a clear and present danger to India. So how should we deal with this complex power matrix? The Conclave program has been designed keeping these major themes in mind. And we have a brilliant spectrum of speakers on these subjects. Pulitzer Prize winner, generals, academics, doctors, athletes, actors, economists, businessmen, gamers, climate activists, entrepreneurs, politicians, and thought leaders from across the world who are passionate about building a brighter future. It is a jam-packed program, ladies and gentlemen, with 78 speakers. So be ready for a tsunami of ideas. We are today living in a COVID world. We must learn to live with it the best way we can. Every sphere of our public and personal life has changed and will change further. One thing the pa pandemic has taught us, that we are all in it together. The virus respects no boundaries of any kind. Everyone is vulnerable. We're asking for a rethink. We must create a better normal. I hope the conclave puts you on this path. Happy conclaving. Thank you for coming. आज तक बांग्ला जानून शॉप खबर शवर आगे सब्सक्राइब करों आज तक बांग्ला बेल आइकॉन प्रेस करते भूल बैन ना